All right, what's going on YouTube? Menace Effects Productions, uh, back again. I left the same song in here from the last tutorial. It's already set up for the region that I want. Uh, I'm gonna make this one really quick because the last tutorial went a little bit longer than I wanted to. Um, some people say they don't like my voice. <laughs> so uh, try to make it with as uh, little talking as possible. Let's go ahead and grab that, you know, that little arrow right here. Bam. You know, so you, you can drop that little loop right there. So this is going to be using the sampler, which is real simple. You can click here. So if you just want to loop a sample, um, you know, there's a lot of things you can do with this. You click normalize, you can make that louder. Uh, it's kind of loud right now, so I'm not going to do that. But um. If you you want to find a tempo, the tempo is a big thing. Trying to match up the tempo. Um, now here on a, on FL Studio, right here in the sampler, if you right click, you go to detect tempo. Uh, we'll start off from 50 to 100. So it says it's, the tempo is at 57, 199. So you click click on no. You don't want to restretch it. Just go ahead and pull it down to 57. Now if you're doing a hip hop beat or something like that. You know that's that that's kind of tough because it's pretty slow. You know, doing the drums kind of be a pain in the ass for that. But um, you know, just to show you, basically, I'm gonna do like that, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be um, a two bar or eight eight measure loop. Let's go ahead and play it and see see what it ends up at. <laughs> So that's pretty close. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Cause I want it to cut in a little faster. I like that. And that last hit kind of carries over. Alright, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to throw in some drums. As you can see, you know, that's pretty slow. I mean, you can speed things up. You can do time stretching. There's a lot of things you can do in here. Um, I'll show you real quick as far as for which with uh, pitch shifting. Um, we can make that a little deeper. 200, it'll stretch it real fast. Let y'all hear that. So I mean that's some stuff uh, you can do uh, time stretch as well, but you can tell the drums sound a little off to it. Um, so I'm just basically just trying to give you the idea and show you how to do it. Um, uh, that's too much. I mean, you see how it, you can speed and slow, and it'll alter the pitch as well. Um, I'm still working on trying to figure out time stretching. I haven't done too much of it on here. I'm actually working on a beat right now doing that. But um, that, that's pretty much the tutorial. Got questions? Once again, ask. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, other than that, peace.